Good morning. Today we're here at Aldi. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, a lot of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Aldi here, notice they have a little discount here. Clearance item on their Pepperidge Farm Herb Season Stuffing. $2.49. That is down from $3.12. Notice that their goldfish are cheaper too. We saw these went up to four dollars, more expensive than, than in some other stores. But three dollars and fifty cents now. Good to see a couple things come down. The little savers peanut butter crackers, which we get comments on time to time, did go up to a dollar nineteen. These were a dollar fifteen. They only go up a few pennies, like every month, but continue to go up. Another thing that continues to go up are these baked cheese crackers. We get a lot of good comments on these, but however, they are $3.89 now. $3.89, that is up from $3.79, so only up $0.10, cents, but we've seen these go from $2.95 to $3.49 to $3.79, now $3.89, so getting a little pricey. Okay, so somebody wanted me to check out the Elevation Keto Bars. Uh, they do have them at our Aldi. We've been getting comments that a lot of Aldi across the country haven't had these in. We did have this issue a while back. Um, they are starting to come back in though. They have the these ones here for $4.99 and then they have like the chocolate almond and caramel $6.75 and yes these prices have gone up. As a matter of fact some of these prices are pretty comparable to like Kroger and Meyer these days. These California raisins here $3.69. I remember when these were $2.95. It's been a while. But $3.69 for these, I mean, they're good. I've gotten them before when, when they were $2.95. They do have these smaller 6-ounce boxes. These are 1 ounces of, one ounce a box here. 6 ounces for $1.49. Uh, Kroger brand is $2.19 right now, so definitely cheaper than that. If you are looking for honey roasted peanuts, we tend to get comments on honey roasted peanuts, probably three or four comments a month that people can't find them. All we seem to find them here at Aldi, $2.19 is up from $1.95, but it's been $2.19 for a little while and they always seem to have them. And they're good, I've tried them. The Savorites Clubhouse Crackers, which we always get comments on, um, $2.95 now. More importantly, they are coming back in. We did see they were gone for a little while. Um, they're getting to be almost as much as the Keebler ones, so, you know, not as much of a price break, but we get a lot of good comments on those. Um, saltine crackers also, $1.29 now, um, and it's continued to go up a little bit every month, but good to see they're coming in. This is another one that, you know, we see leave and then we'll come back at a higher price. Still, $1.29 for a box of four packs really isn't that bad of a deal. What is, is $1.35 for the oyster crackers now. These continue to go up in price. I mean, these were 88 cents a year ago, or 85 cents, I mean. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never tried the oyster crackers, but we've gotten good comments on them. $1.35, still cheaper than Nabisco, but expensive for Aldi. The Oreo-style Benton's cookies here have gone up to $2.49. Um, that's crazy. Uh, we saw when it went from $1.75 to $1.99. We thought that was crazy. And then we saw it go to $2.25. Now it has gone up another quarter, $2.49. Still cheaper than Oreos, but I don't know. I mean, they taste exactly like Oreos to me, so still cheaper, but another price increase. Looks like the graham crackers that we're always getting comments on. Well, the regular graham crackers have gone up to $1.95. We saw these were $1.89. When these were both at one time $1.89. Now $1.95 for both of them. Usually the cinnamon ones are a little more expensive, so these may be going up again. We get a lot of comments on these graham crackers, so may want to buy up a couple, you know, for the next price increase. Been a lot of talk on vanilla wafers over some previous videos that we've done. This is the same size box as the Nabisco, 11 ounces. So this is the same as the Nilla wafers by Nabisco, 11 ounces for $2.39. Now these were $2.15 a year ago. We saw they went up to $2.29, now $2.39. Uh, this has gone up since the last time we've been here. So another, another item that has gone up in price. And all of these cookies, except for these pecan shortbread cookies, have pretty much gone up to almost $2.00. Somebody had said that they haven't been able to find the knoppers. You know, these are hit or miss uh, every time I come here. This is probably the most I've ever seen here at this Aldi. $1.99, still the same price. Um, but yeah, they are starting to come back in. So you may want to check again. Um, it does, you know, these sell like 
really fast. I have tried them before. They are delicious. Um, but, yeah, they will come here one day and they'll have plenty, and then one day it'll be gone. Lots of these things have gone up in price, like the granola bars, $2.49. These were $2.35, but they, they continue to go up. Seems like every month they go up a little bit. Um, hopefully find some more things that have gone down. These fruit and grain bars sure have not, but I will say that they are coming in. We saw this price go up from $1.35 to $1.65, and they've, they haven't had them. They haven't had them in. We've got a lot of comments that people haven't been able to find them. Um, and remember, these were $1.15 a box last year. So it went from $1.15, $1.35, now $1.65. I guess more importantly, they are starting to come back in. The 42-ounce canisters of oats have gone back up to $3.69 both for the quick oats and the old-fashioned. We saw where they had dropped the regular price back down to $2.49 there for a while, but I guess they went back up, $3.69. Bread is becoming another issue here at Aldi. These have been going up like crazy. I know the hot dog and hamburger buns were under a dollar not that long ago. Now they're $1.29. The Italian, premium Italian bread here, $2.19. That's been that price for a while, but look at this. The white bread here, plain old white bread that was always, you know, 98 cents last year, 95 cents last year, uh, $1.29 now. So it does look like they have the everything bagels back in. They are $2.19 now, though. Uh, I've tried the blueberry. They are pretty delicious. They are $2.19 now. They do have the cinnamon raisin. Got some comments. People haven't been finding the cinnamon raisin. They haven't had them here at our Aldi in a while. Those and the plain are both still $1.89. All of these were $1.49 last year. Jessica is making hamburgers tonight, and yes, this is a little pricey. $3.99 for these brioche buns, but I will say these are some of the best hamburger buns you can buy. You get six of them for $3.99. Four of ones like these, and actually I like these better, but four of these at Kroger are $4.99. So this is a little bit of a better deal, and they are absolutely delicious. Checking out a couple Aldi Saver deals here. They have the three-pack peppers here. Same price as the digital coupon at Kroger for $2.49. The nice thing about this, you don't have to use a digital coupon. Just pick it up. No extra work required. $2.49. They have cucumbers for $0.55. Cents. Got some red grapes for $1.49 a pound, which is pretty good because we've been seeing those for $2.49 a pound on sale pretty much everywhere. I have to say these are some of the smallest pineapples I've ever seen in my life. They are $1.69, but boy, are they tiny. Got the cantaloupes here, $1.99. Been seeing these for $3.29 everywhere, so good deal here. Got some organic avocados, $2.69 for a four pack. They're the smaller ones, but still, that's not too bad of a deal. They've got the organic pears, $3.89 for two pounds. Pears are expensive these days. So I found these honey gold potatoes, these are organic. $3.49 for 24 ounces, though. For the regular at Kroger, they're on sale for $2.99, so Kroger's actually cheaper. These are organic, though, and the ones that are on sale at Kroger are not. But um, yeah, we've got some organic gala apples here, three pounds for $4.99. Organic options are cheaper here at Aldi than pretty much anywhere. They have this cabbage for $0.75 cents a pound, but boy, it is not much grain to it. They do have the dole... Uh, lettuce here, which is about the same price as it is everywhere else. $1.89. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. $1.69 for celery. Still a little cheaper than pretty much everywhere else, but not by much. Um, they got the green peppers here. These are a six pack. Or no, I'm sorry, three pack. Look like a six pack there. Three pack for $2.19. Eh. I don't know, some of this stuff I feel like we can actually get better deals at other places now, but you really do have to look, and um, I will say the produce, other than that cabbage there, everything's looking pretty good here. They got the mini sweet peppers here, um, $2.89 for one pound, I don't know. That, uh, yeah, I don't know, it seems a bit much. And when I say a bit much, I mean a bit much from Aldi prices. Now, these three pounds of yellow onions for $2.29 is actually not that bad of a deal anymore. That is up from $1.99, but we've been seeing onions kind of skyrocketing price lately. Uh, we see at Meyer, Meyer's has them for $3.49, Kroger right about the same price. 
Uh, we haven't even seen the three pound bags at Kroger for a while. So that could be part of the other reason. Ooh, looks like potatoes went back up. 10 pounds of russet potatoes here, 529. These were 499 the last time we were here. Slowly starting to creep back up. Also, had some comments how people don't like when they have these because you can't see them. I agree. You do really have to kind of look through and, you know, try, try to look at, you know, as many potatoes as you can to make sure that, you know, you're not getting a bad batch of them. Somebody had said that Berman's mayonnaise has gone up. Uh, it's been 345 here for a little while, but yes, it has continued to go up over the course of the year. One no thing that we've been noticing a lot lately is the Berman's ketchup here. $1.75 last year. This was $1.49, so up a, up a quarter. Um, we do have Miracle Whip here for $5.18, which is actually not too bad. We'll see this regular price in a lot of stores for $6.49 to $7 now, so $5.18. Yeah, that's not too bad if you like Miracle Whip. We had a comment about distilled white vinegar again, so I thought I would point out that Aldi does have their Tuscan Garden version. Uh, one gallon, is that one gallon? 128 ounces for $3.19. Not much more for that at Kroger. Kroger's is $3.30, so only about 10 cents higher. Um, they do have the smaller ones here for $1.19. These were 95 cents not that long ago. We do have the Simply Nature Organic Apple Cider Vinegar here, the big container of it here for $4.99. Look at all these Tuscan Garden dressings that have gone up to $1.95. Um, these were $1.49 not that long ago. Uh, we saw them go up a couple different times over the course of a year, but $1.95, I don't know, it seems a bit much for uh, their cheaper salad dressing. Somebody was asking about the Willow toilet paper and if the prices had gone up on it. They've actually come down on the big one here. This was $20.99. We saw it for $21.99 there for maybe a month. Um, but it has come down to $19.99. It's usually $20.99. So this has actually dropped a dollar. So good to see something drop in price. We're always getting comments on Willow toilet paper. Uh, they have this one here for $11.89. A lot of these did not drop. This ultra strong here. $19.99 for this still. Um, $13.99 still for this pack right here, the 18 mega rolls, which equals 72 rolls. This was $4.19, but they've kept this price at $13.99 for a pretty good while. Looks like our Aldi has restocked on a lot of their cleaners. We always get good comments on a lot of the uh, cleaners that they sell here at Aldi. Uh, we've never used any, so I really can't, um, I really don't know. Uh, we've gotten good comments on this fantastic, this fabuloso down here. Someone said there was a recall on that, so don't know about that one right now. Three forty-seven for that big container of it, though. It looks like five times the size of the one we saw at Dollar Tree, so that would be a better deal. Got some different Febreze's here. Uh, some of the Swiffer cleaners here, made by Radiance. Um, Three ninety-nine for a twelve count. Not sure if that's a good deal or not. Um, but yeah, they haven't had a lot of this stuff in a while. They got these Radiance disinfecting wipes. This is 75 wipes for $2.99. Eh. Somebody had asked from an older video what paper plates that I buy from here. Um, I guess I showed them one time in a video. Uh, these are the ones right here. These Boulder Ultra 50 plates are the ones that we, you know, usually buy if we're having company and stuff around the holidays. But five dollars and 79 cents that is up what a few months ago these were 4.79 they went up to 5.79 still worth it when you see some of the prices in some of these stores though we have gotten some good comments on these freezer bags here now with this one with this uh slide seal here you only get 13 of them um and you know you can always wash these out reuse them that's what we do uh two dollars and nine cents uh, for a 13 count is actually not that bad of a deal. Uh, they do have the regular freezer bags here. 30 bags. 30 bags for uh, $2.29. So a little bit, little bit more, but you definitely get more BPA-free on all of these. Everything Isn't all this stuff BPA-free anymore? I don't know if there's really a reason to even put that on there. Um, but yes, definitely want to have BPA-free. They've got some of these smaller bags here for $1.99, 40 to 50 counts, so... Yeah, I mean, it's a good price on this stuff. Okay, so anyone living in Cincinnati, Ohio, don't want to alarm anybody, but we do live right on the Ohio River, and we've heard reports that 
everything that's gone up in East Palestine. Well, they live on the Ohio River as well, and it comes down. It goes down toward us, and they're saying here in a couple days that we don't have to worry, right? But, um, you know, we're uh, planning for whatever, and we've been buying up a lot of spring water. And if you live along the Ohio River, I recommend you do the same thing. They do have the 24 packs of the Pure Aqua spring water for $3.89. Which, you know, yeah, it's kept going up. You know, it's it's high in price, but we're not too worried about that right now. I did buy up some at Sam's Club the other day, so we have plenty of spring water. But, you know, they say this thing is going to be coming down. You know, whatever has hit the water is, is flowing down. And they're saying here within the next couple days, if it hasn't already. But we're being prepared nonetheless. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Don't want to freak anybody out or anything, but... You know, we do have to pay attention, and all of our thoughts and prayers are with everybody in East Palestine right now. That was a terrible event. Does look like they do have plenty of cat food in again. It has gone up a little bit, but it has been a while. We got comments on how, you know, and I don't know, it may go up again, but as for right now, the ones that people compare to Fancy Feast, um, probably just because they're smaller cans. I don't know. This is a more premium but 55 cents for these and 56 cents which is weird because this was 55 cents aldi does that sometimes where you see things go up a penny but they have these ones here for 56 cents obviously a little more in that and they have uh the dry cat food same price 265 glad to see that they have some uh they got the pure being premium cat food chicken and uh chickpea here for 6.99 a bag and they got plenty of cat litter good to see this coming back in here at aldi they also have the Pure Being Premium Dog Food here, which we've gotten some comments on. $1.59, so not much cheaper than Pedigree, but this is what people compare it to, probably because of the price. But one thing I wanted to show you is we've gotten comments that some people have switched their dogs over who usually use the Caesar packets for your dog. These are $0.75. Cents. $1.69 a piece for the Caesar packet ones now at Kroger. So this is something I would highly recommend. If your dog likes these, I would check this out now i will say this this is the most i've ever seen in here so hopefully they continue to come in but there's been a lot of times they've been out of this so if, you, if you're here you know you may want to buy up enough to last you you know at least a couple few weeks or at least until you shop again at aldi and maybe beyond because that's a great price 75 cents for these it's pretty good so flour is still two dollars and 19 cents here Kind of had a feeling it would have dropped but look at this the sugar has dropped again like a good amount two dollars and 48 cents this was up to 280 making it one of the most expensive around but it has since gone back down to 248 that's probably because kroger has lowered theirs to 249 so they're kind of following suit here but good to see another price drop i remember somebody asked if i would check out the price of the baker's corner uh 100 pure pumpkin dollar 19 dollar 19 that's a great deal um we have never had a bad comment on this um and yeah libby's is expensive they don't even have libby's in here right now they have the big pumpkin mix cans here for 229 these were 269 so another little aldi saver deal they are pretty low on the evaporated milk which they have the carnation dollar 72 right here but they do have their baker's choice brand um and this is 12 ounces for $1.29, so way cheaper. I think Carnation's a little smaller here. Um, nope, 12 ounces. Can's just a little wider, I guess. But yeah, out of some things here, but uh, yeah, they got the powdered sugar in, $1.79. Now this is about the same price as Kroger. Uh, Kroger just went up to $1.89 a few weeks ago, but about the same price. We have had a couple comments since I had mentioned a lot of the cooking sprays have been going up in the stores. We saw where Pam cooking spray has gone up. Aldi does have some different baking sprays here, and they are $2.49. Some of the Pam expenses are getting a little, you know, over $4. I even saw one for $5. It was a bigger can, but it was a little over $5. But they have all different varieties here, olive oil, uh, different vegetable oil, stuff like that. So... Yeah, not a bad price. $2.85 for the olive oil one, which I can understand because olive oil is a little more expensive. They do have a lot more spices in than they had the last time we were here. And look at this. They got the garlic salt back in. This has been a big one. If you notice, you don't get 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just a weight thing. I get, yeah, it is. But um, who cares? I mean, I'm just glad to see some garlic salt. This has been an issue. We've been getting comments from all over the country, even outside the country, that people haven't been able to find garlic salt. Um, 97 cents here. And this weighs 3.5 ounces. So, yeah, that's not a bad weight, especially for 97 cents. So I wanted to quickly say that Aldi has gotten very packed since I got here. And they are, they are there's like three things of eggs left. They are $2.99. The last time I was here, they were up over $4. So good to see that Aldi has dropped their egg prices to $2.99. Still way too high. This time last year, they were $0.98. Cents. Hopefully they go back down to that at some point. I did want to show, uh, we get comments on these, not of the Chef's Cover brand, but these are some of mine and Jessica's favorite scalloped potatoes. These are 95 cents. We're making this with our hamburgers tonight. These are delicious. I like these better than the name brand. Now I know I said this the last time I was here, but these can, most of the uh, like corn, uh, sweet peas, green beans, can, these are really good. We really like the Happy Harvest brand. 58 cents a can. We stocked up on these the last time we were here. Del Monte's just getting too expensive. Plus, for the price, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I like Del Monte corn, but these sweet peas, these are fantastic. 58 cents a can. But I have a feeling, guys, these are gonna be the next things to go up. So I would just keep that in mind next time you either shop at Aldi or Walmart. I have a feeling they're gonna go up pretty much everywhere when they start going up. So just keep that in mind. Aldi kind of pulled a fast one on me here. They had changed the, uh, they had moved the hamburger around here. Uh, this is where all the chicken used to be. Now the chicken is over here, some of it over here, but yeah, I mean, if they're getting a lot of hamburger, I can understand that. You know, one thing, we kind of get mixed reviews on hamburger. Uh, all the hamburger at all Aldi stores use locally owned uh, meats. So, you know, keep that in mind. And, and that could be why ours is really good. We've gotten some comments where some people don't like Aldi hamburger. We love it. It's always good. Uh, That's where we make, you know, the hamburgers we're making tonight, which we have a couple frozen patties that we saved, is from Aldi. The meatloaf we had last time was from Aldi. Um, let's see, and still $2.79 a pound for the 73% uh, lean here. I don't see the 80, 80, 20, but it's usually 3.79. Oh, look at that, there it is. 80% lean, yeah, 3.79 a pound. The family pack drumsticks did go from $1.19 to $1.29, so these went up. I will say, though, we've had these two. No problems with the chicken. Always really good. Um, yeah, if you're wanting chicken wings, family pack here, you get a lot of them. $3.09 a pound, and they have the family pack chicken breast, $2.49 a pound. Now, you know, sometimes we can find these on sale, but $2.49 a pound regular price really isn't too bad. We've used these for chicken and dumplings, uh, just cooking chicken. I mean, there's no, you know, we like them. So I had met a fan of the channel the other day, and he was saying that he had bought this for his cat, and his cat absolutely loves it. Um, I mean, how could they not? I mean, that is just awesome. Um, and they have a sale on these right now. They're down from $8.99 to $4.99 on clearance. Cat scratching playhouse for your cat? Uh, he swore by it. He said his cat loves it. I always like looking at some of these Aldi finds here. I've never heard of these before. Fusia, Fusia, red curry noodles here. Two dollars and forty-nine cents on the Aldi finds deal. You can always find some interesting things here. Look at this. They got the Annie Chun's yakisoba, different uh, ramen noodle meals here. They're always a little more expensive. Uh, taste better, but two ninety-eight for these. We can sometimes find these on sale for three dollars. But, yeah, they're usually not much more than that. I don't know if that's really a savings or not. They're usually right around $3 or maybe a little more, like $3.19 in some stores. Yeah, some of these bo family boxes of cereal, don't know if that, I mean, that's an okay deal. $4.78 for a family box. Family boxes have gone from $5.49 to $5.99 in some stores. But usually, Kroger or Meyer will find a good deal on regular size boxes and just buy two of those. Usually the weight works out better and you can keep one of them sealed so it stays fresh. Look at this. They have a Crofton Stir Fry Wok here. Crofton, that's a good brand. Uh, $12.99. I mean, I don't know how much they regularly are, but that don't sound like too bad of a price. I know these woks can get really expensive. A little, uh, 
Ambiano six cup rice cooker, $16.99. Some of these, you know, some prices seem crazy, some seem amazing. Somebody left a comment in a previous video that we've done that the uh, peanut butter had gone up. Yes, we went over this the last time we were here, but the big ones did go up with the peanut delight creamy from $3.59 to $3.45. These were, or I mean $3.75, they were $3.45 um, just a few months ago. And the peanut delight, the creamy, and the crunchy here did go from $1.69 to $1.79. Wanted to do a quick look at the coffee here, and I just noticed something. The 10-ounce bricks of the Cafe Bastillo finally went up. Remember, these were $3.76 for as long as I can remember. Now they have gone up to $3.95. Still a decent price. Um, kind of surprised they hadn't gone up, really. But $3.95, another price increase. The Nescafe Classico for the 7-ounce container, still $6.32. Now here's something funny. The Beaumont, somebody left a comment that they haven't been able to find the decaf of the instant coffee. Um, that's all we have, and, well, there's a few of the regular, so, I don't know, maybe we're getting the decaf and you're getting the regular. I don't know, it's kind of weird, I've never seen this much decaf. So somebody was saying that the classic roast of the Beaumont really isn't that great. It is $7.29 here, I haven't tried any of these, so I really don't know. $8.49 now for the Colombian. Uh, and they do have the smaller cans of the decaf for $3.89. Now these I have tried. Well, I've tried a couple of them. I've tried the Donut Shop and the Midnight Blend. They're good. The Donut Shop one's probably the, my favorite. Um, these did go back up. We saw where they dropped to $3.99 here for a little while. They are back up to $4.19 for the Keurig Pods. Still $4.89 for the uh, one pat or um, let's see, 12 ounces. So 12 ounces for $4.89 of all their different... Uh, Barissimo brand here. Ground coffees. They do have some Dunkin' here, which is funny. They can kind of just threw this in here. $7.96 for what they have here. Somebody had said that they're frozen fruits. They haven't been able to find some of the ones that they like at Aldi lately. You know, we had that issue forever. And then they finally started coming back in just a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. You got the frozen blueberries. I know this is the one you were looking for. 24 ounces for $4.29, so that is up a little bit. That is up from $3.99, but $4.29 for 24 ounces. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. And they have the strawberries here, 24 ounces for $3.35. Does look like our Aldi has plenty of red bag chicken back in. Got the chicken breasts down here. These are really good. Uh, they are $7.99 still, I think. Yeah, $7.99, good. So those haven't gone up. Um, See, they got the breast nuggets here for $5.59. And another one we get great comments on, still never tried though. Uh, and this is 28 ounces of the Parmesan chicken uh, for $9.49. But we have never had a bad comment on that. Never had a bad comment on the red bag chicken either. Good to see it's starting to come in regularly now. Well, that was our trip to Aldi. Um, yeah, prices continue to go up on some things. Some things have dropped in prices. Still high prices. I didn't get to talk about the eggs uh, as much because there was a lot of people didn't want to get in anybody's way, but $2.99 for eggs here now at our Aldi. Um, also with the water and everything, I didn't want to talk too much, but there were some people that were asking about my thoughts on, on what has happened in East Palestine, and it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Uh, again, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone up there. Um, and for those who don't know, I have left in some comments, we are 300 miles about 300 miles southeast of East Palestine. So we're pretty far away, but we are two miles away from the Ohio River of which we are hearing that everything that has happened there that is in the water, possibly, it's safe, right? I don't know that and I can't go on that. Um, you know, so it's like we're buying up, we're buying up some water, you know, in case we need to use it and you know some other things it's always good to stock up on some things guys i know we always say you know stock up on the sales but sometimes you know especially in events like this and you know you don't know we can't worry so much about the price of things try to get as good of a deal as you can but like with this you know we have to be stocked up a little bit especially on water because uh until all this blows through which who knows how long uh it's gonna last well we will be drinking nothing but bottled water until this has gone all past. Thank you all for your concerns and everything. I really appreciate that. Let's let's think of the people in Palestine right now who are dealing with the the, the craziness 
of, of that could have unfolded probably a lot better than the way it has. I, I just, I can't believe some of the stuff that I'm hearing. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. Sorry if it was a little dark with all that, but you know, we want to, part of what we want to do on this channel is to keep people informed. We have a lot of viewers here in Cincinnati, Ohio. So it's like, you know, if this stuff is in the water and it's coming down here, you know, within the next couple days, you, you buy a couple things of water because if they if they come out and say uh, you need to drink bottled water, then it's going to fly off the shelves. So for everyone on here, all of our fans and friends and family, you know, make sure you have an extra thing of water set aside, maybe a couple few, you know, try and find a good deal on it. But I wouldn't worry too much about the price. Just make sure you have it. I love Aldi. I really do. There's a lot of things we've grown to love here in a lot of their different products. Still, you know, a lot of things are comparable to grocery stores, but for the most part, I mean, not bad prices here. I mean, I know they've all gone up, but still good prices here at Aldi. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out. <laughs>